Hello everyone, my name is Don Angelito and today I'm going to be doing a review of MLB 15 The Show for the PlayStation Vita. And I'm going to say straight up, Sony, you have done fucked it up. Let's get this review started. As you can see, this is the main menu of MLB 15 The Show on the PlayStation Vita. As you can see, it has been completely stripped down as from MLB 14 The Show. As you can see, there were, all you have basically is ex exhibition mode. The show live, home run derby. They they brought back the the online version portion of the game, but there's also the offline franchise and season mode, postseason practice, and road to the show. And that's what basically you're going to be getting. And those of you who actually bought this game in physical copy, well, I have some news for you guys, because those of you who bought the physical copy of MLB 15 to show are going to be in for a surprise. When you open your case of MLB 15 to show, you not only you're going to be getting the game, but your case is going to be empty, 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 oh my god, when you open the case. And I'm not even kidding. I have seen people open up their cases and realize that they only got in a voucher code. Yes, Sony had went along instead of giving you an actual physical copy of the, instead of the game, and they just went and gave you a voucher download downloadable content instead making you download the game forcing you to waste 3.5 gigabytes into your hard drive for your memory card that is unnecessary for your PlayStation Vita now this is the main menu and this is the only two options you have options and game modes so I'm gonna go here how the presentation will look like on MLB 15 to show let's see it's the Red Sox taking on the Philadelphia Phillies I'm going to find the Phillies really quickly. Give me a minute. So, I'm not very surprised at all from Sony what they have done. I really was looking forward to what everything what they're doing with the interior of the game and everything in general. But my main issue and concern that I have with the game is that some of the f basic features were stripped down, including for uh, basic character design when you create your own player for Roll to the Show. Now, there is an issue when you change the, uh, the character's face. Time it looks very similar to everybody else. Set for baseball at a place they call the Bank, Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Ought to be a good one here between the Boston Red Sox and the Philadelphia Phillies. As you can see, that's the introduction that they have doing. But instead of giving you the name of the player on the loading on top of the screen, let's just go straight to the gameplay, and I don't like that. It doesn't tell me how many home runs Shane Victorino has or RBIs or what is his batting average because in forcing me to actually start go pressing start and look up in his stats. And that's something I don't want to do. I just don't want to be able to go, bam, you're starting the game. I want to be able to see what's going on. I want to be able to enjoy the fundamentals of actually reading the information, hearing the lineups, who's batting, who's pitching before I'm playing. As you can see, this is a new mechanic that they added for MLB 15 to show, is that when you're aim sideways you will see the, the camera angle slightly moving left and right up or down in my personal opinion I don't like this I kinda like the old-fashioned way where you just um, just aim the direction where you wanna hit the ball and and the ball will just head to that direction instead of seeing trying to guess where it is and not only half the time most of the pitches does not even register when it comes to pitches there's still some issues and glitches among the game, especially when the umpire still calls strikes when knowing the ball is outside the plate. Let's say, for example, I let this ball go in. Sometimes those pitches will actually be in the corner of the plate, and sometimes the umpire will often will call that a strike, even though it's an automatically ball. Now, this year in MLB 15 to show, there isn't that much to really mention or say. And the reason why I say that Sony has fucked up pretty badly is because the way how the presentation is not really there. 
They still have the warm up pitches, but you still feel like you gotta be forced to play without information of what's going on around the league. Unlike certain, like on um, from the period's MLB the show. You have, as I said earlier, you do have the home run derby, but you're only able to play with online. You don't want to be able to connect with other people and friends online because MLB 15, the show, has doesn't have this feature, especially when, when they cut it off from MLB 14, the show, as well. There are some new spe features that I find it a little interesting, but... Interesting, but I'd rather a little bit annoying because you have to change the controls a little bit to adjust what's going on. I thought I was playing a simulation for a baseball game, now for a a bunch of button smashing. It took me like about when I first got started playing the game. It took me about literally about about 15 minutes to figure about how to change the controls and to make the adjustments from the previous MLB the show titles. And as the game progresses, the announcers doesn't even say anything about the player stats, information, uh, what's going on wrong the league. They don't even mention about anything about last year's World Series between the Detroit, uh, no, Kansas City Royals and the San Francisco Giants. They don't mention anything at all interesting about what's been going on around the league at all. Which is really quite a disappointment because that was actually one of the unique features of baseball games that you usually hear. Even though it's usually predecessors, um, they don't mention much. As for the road to the show, as the advertisement that they mentioned, you were able to buy unique upgrades so you can have sponsored equipment. Well, guess what? Those features have been stripped off them completely from road to the show. And that is a bad thing because basically you are mentioning these features are going to be implemented into the game, but in reality, you are not going to support it. And it's kind of sad because I was really, really wanted to see what was the uh, whole new equipment features it was going to have. But those of you who are playing, are planning of getting MLB 15 to show on the Vita, I recommend getting it at your own risk. The game is only $20 on launch, and it quite surprisingly, I suggest just waiting until the game gets for another discount. I won't recommend getting the game automatically. Yes, I suggest this is not even a $20 value. But more like the there were so many things that it has been really been stripped down. The graphics is exactly the same from MLB 14 the show. Hasn't really changed much from last year. Except that it just made everything a lot more quicker, less efficiently, and a lot more annoying when yeah, I even have to time what's going on. I don't even get to see why I don't get to read the information about what's going on around the league, which is something that I like to enjoy hearing about. So, above all, what I think about MLB 15, the show on the PlayStation Vita, I don't recommend this game for a lot of people from the fine hearts, but if you are a hardcore Major League Baseball fan like I am and I support my Boston Red Sox, I do recommend getting it for those who love our diehard baseball fans. But those of you just trying to get a game that is a sports game, because I know they don't make NBA or Madden anymore. They don't make Madden or NBA games for the PlayStation Vita, nor NHL games. If you want to get a quick game of sports, this is the only option you're going to be able to have. But I suggest you wait for the price drop from the $20 value. This is it for me from Don Angelito. Uh... I have, this is my opinion of MLB 15 to show. You guys may have a different opinion from me. Um, but to be honest, I am very disappointed about MLB 15 to show. The character customization is really poor and lacking. And it's just really something I really am not really happy about. Because it's just one of those things that is a basic function of the features that was on since MLB 12 the show on the PlayStation Vita which mind you I have every single MLB the show title on the PlayStation Vita downloaded to my system I have from 12 to 15 and I have so far collected all of them so I want to give you a quick demonstration of what I was talking about the creation mode when I go over here as your head shape this is what I'm talking about the head shape situation you're changing the head shape and look at the character. It's not changing at all. Head shape 5. It's still the same as all of them. Nothing gets to change it. The only thing you're able to do with your characters is trying to get close of your skin complexion as, as much as you can. Because on the PlayStation Vita version of this game, it's completely broken. 
there's issues with the game and I had multiple issues trying to connect to my universal um, experience online which is completely not even working either because when you go to my universal profile half the time it doesn't refuse to connect even though I have a stable connection at a 100% because my Wi-Fi router is literally connected right in front right next to my TV I don't get to get stay connected as much often but usually it kicks me off when I'm trying to read my information so even though I have a universal information from the previous game that it should be able to transfer it over and continue my ranking, but MLB 15 the show doesn't even really really have that base and function. For those of you wondering if you could get to continue your franchise, you see a uh, role to the show character from last year's season to MLB 15 the show. The only way you'll be able to do that if we have this little button right here at MLB 15. The only reason, you, the only way you get to transfer your save from MLB 14 to show to 15, if you have your save information, your save file for MLB 14 to show on the system itself, and then press this button right here, as this will show us as this application can use save data from other applications, save data from MLB 14 to show. Uh, the save data you want to use is on the PlayStation Vita memory card. Enter the PlayStation memory card and then select OK. And that's how you're able to transfer what MLB 14 and MLB 2, MLB 15 to show. I just Honestly, I just don't like how everything has got been stripped off from the PlayStation Vita from previous, from the other MLB titles. But I think it's kind of bad as a bad move from Santa Monica Studios, and I just really thought they could have just you know just get working a little bit longer with the PlayStation Vita version because there's a lot of people out there with the PlayStation Vita, uh, PlayStation Vita who loves baseball, who likes to travel, and and I think it's fair for everybody else. But this is me. I'm going to cut it off here. This is my review. This is my opinion. This is how I think about MLB The Show. I suggest, you know, buying it at your own risk. If you think you like the game, that's completely up to you. But this is how I report it. This is how I think about it. And this is how I feel about MLB 15 The Show. I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.